Today's video is gonna be a follow-up from one of my earlier ones asking for some recommendations about some sputtering that I had on my bike and the fact that uh, it's most likely the crankcase pressure sensor. So what I've done is I've bought a new one and we are gonna go ahead and install that. You really only need a couple tools outside of the eight and the six millimeter sockets to get your plastics off. And the first one is a Torx screwdriver uh, T15. The second one is a deep socket eight millimeter screwdriver, a pair of needle nose pliers, and a very small drill bit. So the crankcase pressure sensor actually goes right here. There's a, a Torx 15 screw, goes in the bottom right there. Um, there's a couple videos out there, so hopefully this actually helps you with how to install it. You just have to remove this clamp and then you can take it out. Um, there's also a screw underneath here in this tray um, that I loosened up to help get it out because on my bike, I don't know if all bikes, it, it was just pretty tight. So hopefully that'll help out a little bit. So I just took the sensor out and uh, there's actually a decent amount of dirt in there. Uh, so I don't, I don't know if that led to it, but I'm gonna pop the hose out, clean that out and make sure nothing in there got clogged. All right, there's a shot of the old sensor right there. Yeah, like I said, a little dirty, same as the inside there. Okay, now that I've got it back installed, got the screw in there, which was surprisingly easier than getting it out, in my opinion. I'm just gonna snap that back together, it'll click in. Now that you've got it all back together, you can take a screwdriver, just ease this hose off, pull it off of that fitting, and do the same thing to where it connects to the tray up top. And now you can see the fitting is exposed. So we'll just take an eight millimeter deep socket and remove that. Okay, so I have it out now and I just wiped off just a little bit of black in there. Then I take just a drill bit, just run it through like that. And you can see basically almost nothing came out of it. And that was kind of to be expected given the fact that this bike still has relatively low hours on it. Um, if you have this issue, it could be a first thing you try even before you swap your sensors just to check because it's a lot easier to take out than it is to swap those sensors. Um, after you swap your sensors or you replace one of the sensors and you're still having that issue, maybe um, give this a check as well. So now we'll just put it back together. Same process, just obviously in the reverse order. Slide that guy in there. And now the last step is to just put the hose back on. Pretty easy. Let's go ahead and put it back together. Let's give the bike a start. It is 47 degrees on the bike. So let's see how this goes. It's a little cold out. All right, so it runs. That's good news. We will uh, give this a try tomorrow when it's light out so we can get some GoPro footage and see if it sounds any different. It's running. It is about 28 degrees out. I'm cold, snow on the ground. Not really, it all melted. Bike's just warming up. 86. All right, so I probably expect to hear a little bit of stuttering still until it gets warmed up. I'm just gonna go for a little ride. And a little bit. Still cold though, just like me. Oh, 
Oh man, this one looks angry at me. I'm not gonna hurt you, buddy. Look at that jump. Mike's temperature dropping pretty fast. It's cold out. It got up to about 100 there. Not really that warm. And it's kind of tough to tell. So I'll have to go back and review the footage and uh, see if it actually sounds any different. And uh, try again another day. Maybe whenever it's a little bit warmer, plan on go for a longer ride. <laughs> Like I said, we'll try again when it's a little bit nicer out and going a little bit longer of a ride, but honestly, it's hard for me to tell if it sounded any better or not. And I don't really know if the bike got completely warm. Look at that. Look how fast that's dropping. 96, 94. I'm sure it'll go down here. 93. So it's cold out. Try again another day. Found this video helpful. Like, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Thank you. Peace.